Hey, this is James Wallace with the Dallas International Film Festival, and I'm here with director Chuck Yu Kung. Is that yes? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that right. Um, and uh, he's the director of My Way, which is one of the festival's uh, centerpiece screenings. Uh, first time in Texas, and we are very honored to have you here. Um, so when did you first kind of discover this true story of these two brothers? These um, I came across the story about five or six years ago, and it was actually in the form of a script already, from which Warner Brothers had given to me when I was looking to do something here in the U.S., but I wasn't quite so sure about the movie. Um, then, because of this, the nature of the incident was so unique, or um, there was a documentary made on it in Korea, and when I saw that documentary, and that was about four years ago, I thought, I really do need to tell this story. The film is... Uh, the most expensive film ever made in Korea. And uh, it's a war film, and it's got these grand set pieces and, and you know, landing on the beach in Normandy and all these different battles. Um, how does that kind of feel to know that you have this achievement where you've made the most expensive film? And uh, did you ever, you know, want to make a war film? This is now your fourth film, and um, a war film, I would imagine, is a huge undertaking as a director. 이 영화가 제, 제작비가 한국 역사상 최고 유명 그 다음에 특히 전쟁 영화로서 굉장히 규모가 크고 뭐 놀망지 씬 같은 것이 굉장히 큰데 그 전쟁 영화를 만든 그 자체에 대해서 그리고 이렇게 큰 규모의 역사적인 규모의 영화를 만든 거에 대해서 소감이 어떠세요? So of course it was an honor to do this and I wondered, you know, am I going to have the opportunity to do something like this again? It was such a massive scale and so that was wonderful. And yet, you know, when we were on the set, we know that it's the largest budget, but we felt like we were shooting a low budget blockbuster. <laughs> there were so many things that we wanted to do um, and in order to tell that story, we kind of tried to make it as efficient and tightened it up as much as possible, reducing things like our food budget, for instance. <laughs> so, you know, our joke was we're making a low budget film here. Uh, what would you say, you know, making a war film and and making something this this epic what would you say the biggest um, the biggest challenges were as a filmmaker just in terms of making a war film I mean this film covers three different battlefronts the Normandy uh, the the um, the German and the Russian War, as well as the battle front at Nomonhan. Now, Normandy itself has been covered quite a bit, but the other two battles were are hardly ever known, or ha have hardly ever been known or seen on film. Um, and so to do that was a huge challenge, and to make it historically accurate, but really kind of get the tenor of the time. Um, it, but it was also a great opportunity to show something totally new that people hadn't seen before. And um, one of the most, you know, this is the Texas premiere of the film tonight, and uh, one of the most interesting things I think is, is we're so used to seeing war films from our perspective, um, and so to see a war film from the other side, especially since it's the German side yet, these two friends are from Korea, they're not even necessarily um, fighting for the Germans in the traditional sense. Um, how do you think that um, the viewing experience differs for an American audience? As you mentioned, I mean, we've seen mostly things from the U.S. side, but or uh, from the perspective of a U.S. soldier. And in this case, even though Germany was the aggressor in the war, at that particular battle, they were the ones waiting, and it was the U.S. Army that was going to um, come in and attack. And so, rather, uh, instead of being the subject um, or the protagonist being the object of this, I think is a probably a new perspective and something that people might find uh, very different to see. You know, one of the things that I find so interesting about my way is that, um, you know, when it we've seen World War II on screen, big and small, and, and we think that we've, you know, kind of relived the horror as much as possible without being there, which it really still falls short. Um, but one of the things about my way is that the, the kind of uh, 
death and violence of war is is um, it's shown in in a very slow way. You really get it almost in a way that we we've never seen on screen before. Um, was that one of the things that was very important for you to show in making the film? 우리가 이 책에 대한 영화도 굉장히 많이 봤고 어, 특히나 우리가 그 직접 경험을 못 했지만 하도 많이 봤기 때문에 다 아는 것 같은데도 이 영화를 봤을 때는 전쟁의 저, 잔인함과 그 악독함을 처음으로 보는 듯한 그런 것도 있었어요. 근데 감독님께서는 그런 것을 묘사하는 것을 중요하게 생각하셨었나요? 글쎄 이제 전쟁을 어떻게 보여줄 건가의 문제인 것 같아요. 그러니까 뭐 어, 너무한 또는 독재적인 그런 거를 많이 um, I, I thought about a lot about how to show or portray a war. I think a lot of times in war movies, a war is either um, beautified or you know made you know aesthetically pleasing or just made to taken to some extreme level. But I I really wanted to contemplate the basic nature of war. And if I think of you know of all the human acts um, that we take, the that war is the most cruel and inhumane. Um, action that we have taken. So and that was something that basic nature of war was something that I wanted to sh- uh, have come across on screen. Well, thank you very much. Uh thank you for bringing your film to Texas and uh again, uh the film plays at the festival tonight as uh the centerpiece screening and then it plays again uh so you'll definitely have a chance to see it and surely check it out. Thank you guys again. Thank you. 감사합니다. Thank you.